What's going on, everybody? How you feeling? How you living? You already know who it is. It's your boy Jay, aka Big Daddy Beer, aka your favorite gamer's favorite gamer. And welcome back to the channel. So, before we get started, as always, I specialize in custom art and graphic design work through my company, Imprint Street Artists. For anybody who's looking to inquire about any art or graphic related work, you can hit me up. Also, do have merch available for anyone that's interested. You can take a look at my collection through Instagram, Discord, and also through my Street Artist merch shop courtesy of spread shop click the link shop around anything that you guys want to purchase you can get it printed and shipped out to you also my community tab is open to anybody who wants to promote or advertise their channel or business related endeavor drop your link in the live chat while i'm streaming so i can moderate you and add you to the community just as a token of appreciation for all the love and support you guys have been giving me also you can add me as a friend through the following platforms discord playstation nintendo switch twitch and steam also make sure you guys check out episodes of my podcast at the bay table Get ready for the Battle of the Beats Tag Team Tournament preliminary round for Battle 3. That's going to be on Sunday, April 14th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be on the lookout for that. Future episodes to come. Last but not least, if you guys want to donate to the channel or become a member, you can do so. Just know that it's optional. Still appreciate the love and support regardless whether you do or you don't. So with all that being said, let's get these links dropped and let's get it popping like we always do at this time. Who we got in the building? That monetized legendary boy Row, how you feeling? How you living? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming through. Shy, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming through. All right, so the links are pinned. Everything is set up. Let's get it. So this here is unpacking. It's uh, one of those games I found in my recommendations. It's kind of like a um. I guess you could say it's interactive and it's like a puzzle game so basically what you have to do is uh it's, it's almost like real life moving in so they set you up with different rooms just from what i've seen from the little bit of gameplay um they set you up with the boxes in each room you basically unload each box and then you gotta kind of like almost organize it and place everything where you think it should go so it's almost like you're basically entering into a new home and unloading everything where you want so i figured i'll go ahead and try it out if you guys want to like join in with you know helping me figure out where we should put what and place stuff we can definitely do so I had to say hey before going to bed i appreciate that man appreciate you uh stopping through all right so let's go ahead and get started so i'll go i went ahead and um i wasn't sure like what to name the books because i guess it's kind of based on chapters so i just named it after uh myself this one is my mom's initials right here and then this one is my uh, lady's initials for her uh, youtube channel life's magical journey this one is my mom's full name jacqueline kennedy scott gregory and then of course obviously y'all y'all know what that third book is so i guess it's all the same so i'm gonna just start with the the one for my lady mtv what's going on how you feeling how you living welcome man appreciate you coming through all right so we got this uh oh i thought this was like a twin bedroom but it's not all right so we got a soccer ball i'm actually not even sure where to where to put this I guess maybe right here would probably be good. If you guys think I should place it somewhere else, let me know. Let me know where you think I should put some of this stuff at. All right, book bag. Um, actually, you know what? We should put the we should put the book bag here because this here is kind of like the um the desk where they do the homework at. So maybe we could throw the ball over here. Throw this here. Um, oh, the trophy. All right, so maybe that could go probably here. That's what my paint brushes, crowns. Looks like it, so. 
Maybe, maybe right here, possibly. Yeah. Ruler. And they got like the retro music playing too. That's kind of dope. Oh, uh, that's a, it's a, it's a, like a diary journal. I'm guessing that can go probably there. This one. Maybe there. Yeah, it is kind of like the Pokemon music. Yeah, it's, it's, it has that vibe. Yeah, again, uh, feel free to join in. Let me know where I should play some of this stuff. Or where you guys think some of this stuff should go. Okay, wait a second. So, that is a lot of stuff. Um, we can do whatever. Yeah, so we can place... The, I guess we can place this stuff. This is my first time playing this. So I guess we can just put stuff wherever we want and basically just kind of organize the room a little bit. So, yeah, it's, so it's, it's basically, it's kind of like a two in one. It's like a puzzle game slash, um, I guess, what, what's, what's the word? Like, I guess like interior decorating, because that's what I was reading when I was looking at the, um, the overview of the game. Anti, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. So, yeah, basically we can, like, hook up the room how we want. And, um, the puzzle part, that's the part that kind of is confusing to me. I guess we just figure out as we go. Alright, um, hmm. Alright, where should I put this picture frame? Should I put it here? Or, or over here. Hmm. Maybe up higher. Oh, okay. I don't even. By the window? Alright. Alright, I'll place it right there then. No, I'll slide it over some. Alright. Oh, piggy bank. I guess we could put that. I mean, maybe right there, you think? For the piggy bank? I don't know what this is. I guess we'll just sit that there for now. Oh, they got the Simon game. Yeah, just one dresser makes it easy. Okay. Let me sit that there. Maybe we can put that inside here. What the hell is this? <laughs> Bop it? Probably. Is that a dreidel? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like a dreidel. I'm gonna just I'm gonna sit that there for now. Let's see. got a Rubik's cube. Okay, we got a trash can. Um, where should we put the trash can? Maybe over here. I don't even know. Over by the bed. Okay. So probably like right there then. Alright. Oh, they got checkers. Hey. Alright, we could probably slide that down there. Let me put the Rubik's Cube. Actually, maybe we could put that right here. And then maybe the dreidel. Slide this over. I ain't gonna lie, this kind of reminds me of like when I was a kid, like moving into my rooms. Every time I moved and like, you know, hooking up the room and stuff. <laughs> Look at that. They got a, they got a knockoff version of um, Operation. They call it Procedure. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, so that, y'all see that? That's hysterical. All right, so that's, that's done. 
Oh, we got a, a, a drawer right there. Oh, snap, I didn't see that. Okay, so you know what? Yeah, let's put the diary there because, you know, that's kind of private. I'm guessing this has got to be like a girl's room because, you know, the the purple diary and whatnot. All right. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. And the shelves on the bed. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got to figure out what we're going to do with those. Um, so what do you think? Do y'all think the, the, uh, the game should go over here and the toys and stuff? Like, uh, like they got Simon, they got checkers, they got the <laughs> procedure. <laughs> I can't get over that. That's too funny. Maybe put that over there. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, the game. So put the games here. All right. Well, all right. So should I put them on the shelves or should I place them inside the cabinet? The, uh, the drawer. Let's see what else we got. What, what is that? I can't tell what that is. Oh, inside. All right, let me let me drop that down. And all right, I'll put that in there. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's put this ruler in there. All right, I can't. We'll put the scissors there. This I don't know what that is, so we'll just leave that there for now. What is that? Is that an eraser? All right. Oh, damn. What the hell? I don't, I don't know where this is going to go. So it's a... Uh... Oh, it's like a little Pokemon. A little dragon. Um... All right. We'll just sit that there for now. Oh, so I can uh, pile the books on top of each other. Okay. I didn't think I could do that. All right, so, no, nah, that's just like his, that's, I guess, her art book. I'll put this on the bed, the dragon. All right. Yeah. You know, he let him, let him guard the fortress. What is this? Is this a poster or? Oh, it is. Okay. So maybe we'll put that there. Just to kind of give it some balance with the walls and whatnot. Hey, a lot of books. Damn. All right. Trying to uh, organize these a little bit. The kaleidoscope that's what i thought that was for a minute but it's actually uh it's a poster all right we'll close we'll close that oh a little game boy thing so we can do that bp what's going on make a little shout out how you feeling how you living welcome in appreciate you coming through all right there's another little cat thing so i guess let's sit that there for now Hey, Brett G, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. What's going on? Oh, yeah. So for all those coming in, that link right there, that's for my next Battle of the Beats Tag Team Tournament episode. If you guys want to check that out, what is this? Oh, it's a, oh, a camera. Oh, so we can take a photo after we're done. Okay. I miss the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, you know, I still have never been able to figure out one of those for the love of God. I got very close one time. 
I literally like I had got most of it, and then I had two sections that I uh, didn't get a chance to um, complete. I was mad as hell. I had to start all over. Oh, I was heated. All right, uh, this flashlight. I guess that can go there. Now keep the piggy bank there. A little Game Boy there. We're sitting right there. The Polaroid camera, right? Old school with it. Damn, more books? My God. Alright. Alright, so I guess the toys can go over there. I got a jump rope. Alright, that's done. I was trying to see if we could like oh we just oh there we go we can put the book bag there so yeah let's put the book bag there let's put the trash can right there shake it like a polaroid picture <laughs> right damn more books my god all right so more stuffed animals oh we, now, now we're bringing out all the toys and stuff Put the kitty on the bed? Okay. Oh, little treasure trolls. Ha! Ah, I remember I used to have those too. <laughs> I remember I, when I was a kid, getting those treasure trolls, I used to always strip the clothes off of them. <laughs> My mom was like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, why do you keep taking the clothes off of them? I wanted it to know that I was, uh, you know, I used to kid, used to sneak and watch like all that adult rated stuff. So, yeah, I used to, uh, I used to do that. <laughs> I was a kid. I didn't know what I was doing. They brought it back maybe five or seven years ago. Oh, the treasure trolls. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, dad, we got the stereo. Hey. Oh man, it's a lot of stuff. Okay. You have tape collection and more books. Okay. Another book. Is that Peter Pan? Yeah, that is too. All right. Oh, the Polaroid camera. Oh, you said he brought those back. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. All right. Uh, let's. All right. So. The one that prints out the picture. Oh, nice. Well, we, we're not done yet. So now we got to put all this stuff up. So you said the cat should go on the bed. All right. I guess we'll put all the stuffed animals here. Oh, that thing's sweet. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they can remain on the floor. One of my cousin's kids got one for Christmas a couple years ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, these, these can't even go on the floor. They're too damn big. All right, I'm going to just leave those there. All right, so maybe all these little tiny toys can probably uh, go over here. Pig on the desk or in the chair. Okay. I don't even think it could, uh... I don't know. Exact what's going on? Make a love shout out. How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. All right, let's, uh, let's slap all these little action figures up here. <laughs> I got My Little Pony. Hey, y'all ever see that movie, um, Playing With Fire? With uh, what's it called? Uh, what's his name? The the wrestler, um, John Cena. <laughs> if y'all ever get a chance, watch that movie. It's hysterical. There's this scene right where this um, basically they're um this this group. It's him and his group of um people. They're known as smoke jumpers. So they kind of they're almost kind of like uh, knockoff versions of firefighters. So. Um, long story short, 
uh, there was this one, I forgot what his name was, but he always looked super angry. Um, hold on, you said, uh, hopefully more stuffed animals can go to bed. I think they can, so we might have to put the bigger ones up there. So, um, so they ended up finding these uh, three little kids um, whose parents, uh, I think they died. And so John Cena and his crew ended up taking them under their wing and stuff and letting them stay in the, um, at the station with them. So they're like running around, having fun, doing all types of crazy mess and whatnot. And um, <laughs> I forgot the one guy, his, like, he was real quiet. He was always angry, but he was real cool though. Um, damn, I, I, I gotta look his name up. But he always looked super serious and super angry. So again, long story short, um, the youngest kid, the little girl, she was having a birthday party. So John Cena and everybody wanted to surprise her. So it's called Playing With Fire. It's like a uh, like a family comedy. So um, <laughs> they had a little surprise party for her because she loved My Little Pony. So they got they decorated the whole entire station with all My Little Pony related stuff. And so they're all wishing her happy birthday. So the real big angry dude, right? <laughs> he comes out of nowhere. He picks her up. Everybody's looking because, like, you know, they all they're all kind of like scared, intimidated by him. So he's got like the real angry face. He just picks her up and just out of nowhere. He's like, my little pony, my little. He just starts singing opera. I was cracking the hell up because I wasn't expecting him to do that. I was like, oh, snap. Y'all got to see it. It's super funny. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. Oh, I can put the books in there. OK. B. Kim, what's going on? Make a little shout out. How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. Yeah. Oh, my God. It, you got to see it. It's super funny. Because, <laughs> like, what no one expecting him to, like, just start busting out singing like that. But <laughs> he was serious with it, too. He's like, my little pony, my little pony. <laughs> and if you can see everybody's reaction, they were like, what the hell? <laughs> like, and they're like, you talk? Because, like, he doesn't really say anything the whole movie. He barely talks. Oh, my God. Uh, that, was, that was super funny. I might have to watch that later on. All right. So, hold on. I got all these books I'm about to put down here. Because I didn't realize we could stand them up vertically. B. Lynn, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. My stepbrother has the original Teddy Ruxpin. Really? That's what's up. Damn, I had a Teddy Ruxpin since, whew, since like 93. My God. Damn, I feel old. <laughs> All right, so we'll put the, uh, actually, we could probably put that there. Now, let's, let's move this. Put that there. Let's put the eraser here. The Simon game, we can. Uh... M4, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. That creepy bear that could talk. Now, Teddy Ruxman wasn't creepy. Teddy Ruxman was the truth. I loved uh, TR. All right. <laughs> I always thought of wish listing this. What do you think, BDB? How do you hope uh, the week can start off? Hey, M4, this game is it's dope. It's, it's real therapeutic, too. Like, I, I like stuff like this. Um, oh, you still got pound puppies? <laughs> I definitely get it, though. This is, like, I like this. This is nice. See, I like these type of games. It, it you know, Yeah, very, it's a very relaxing game. It just kind of, sometimes you just need a break from all the hard-hitting, heavy stuff. Sometimes you just got to play this type of stuff. It just kind of takes your mind off of stuff. But I ain't going to lie, I was like, I was kind of a little frustrated about something earlier. But, um, but yeah, now I'm playing this right now. I just kind of took my mind off of it. So, well, you said Pound Puppies and what was the other one? Pocket Polly. Oh, snap. I remember Pocket Polly. That's crazy. All right. Uh, oh, wait. So now the book bag's got to go somewhere. That's the only thing. Oh, there we go. So 
wait, why, why can't you sit it right there? Oh, I guess it, it's got to be in like a little place somewhere. All right, well, you know what? Hold on. Let's put the soccer ball over here and put the, uh, the book bag here. Or actually, you know what? Let's put the trash can here and put the book bag. There we go. All right. And then we'll close. Hold on. All right, what y'all think? Looks good? Oh wait, we got spaces missing. We should maybe fill those up. Actually, let's put the camera here. And... Let's put that there. Actually, no, 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 let's put the Simon game here. This room looks like Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> well, I can tell it's a little girl's room, so. All right, let's do that. Let's let's put the tapes there. Um, the video game actually. Let's let's put that here. Yeah, I, I like that going at right there. Rubik's cube there. And then yeah, let's put that there. Let's close that. Let's have our flashlight right there. Remember Gimmis the Hamburglar and Mayor McCheese the play? Yeah, I remember all of that. All of that. With the tape, the Ghetto Blaster, the tape deck. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, this is nostalgia right here. All right. Let's take a photo. All right, now, how do we, how do we do that, do we? Oh, give it like a retro vibe. Oh, that's nice. Which one y'all think? That's a nice one too, that. Oh, that's real bright. Very, very vivid right there. I like this one, the second one here, and oh, with the little sparkles, oh, that's nice. Would you put boys to, would you put the boys, your boys to men cassette in? <laughs> Hell yeah, ain't nothing wrong with uh, boys to men. That is not my bedroom, cut you, cut it, yeah, right, <laughs> you gotta cut it out, you gotta cut it out, that is not my bedroom. I don't have no stuffed animals. I'm a grown ass man. I look like putting old pig and uh, dragon on my bed. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so. All right, now we got that. Oh, you can put stickers too? Now where should these go? Ain't nothing wrong, boys to men. Why you say that? You said like it's a bad thing. Boys to men is the truth. Ain't nothing wrong with uh B2M. They had they had little it's, it's correct correction. They had iconic songs. Definitely a vibe, without a doubt. Actually, you know, let's put these. Now let's put these over the bed. Yeah, that was that song. Boys and Men in the LL. Hey lover, hey lover, this is only a crush. Yeah, that was that banger. What? Um. All right, so. All right, now the question is, is uh. How do I snap the photo? Hold on, let me move my camera because I think there's some it was something glowing underneath it and I couldn't see what it was. Hold on a second. Oh, 
Oh yeah, oh, he, he's the truth. Okay. Now, how do you take the photo? That's what I'm trying to figure out now. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how to do it. Oh, so you got to... Wow. Oh, I get it. So you got to zoom out and then... Okay, I, I get it now. Oh, that's dope. They kind of play it back. I can't live with all oh, radio. That's my banger right there. Mama said, knock you out. Of course, radio is probably my favorite song by LL. I first heard that on Crush Groove. Oh, I was going crazy. Well, I just feel like one of the X-Men, you know, they had like the abilities to move all the objects. That's what this looks like right now. It looks like. Oh, that's kind of dope, though. Wait, did, did someone else come in? Did I? I'm trying to make I thought somebody else popped in here. Oh, Realist, what's good, my guy? I'm sorry if I missed you. How you feeling? How you living? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming through. And that's what, don't it look like that? Look like Jean Grey or one of the people with like the telepathic abilities to be able to move objects. I would say Magneto, but you know he, he's that's magnetism. But that's what it kind of look like right now. It look like <laughs> look like one of them just like just moving every object all around. But yeah, um, M4. Yeah, if you're still here, I would definitely say get this game. Yeah, it's it's dope. All right. So that's uh that's that's for uh, that's my lady's book so far. All right, let's do a book for my mom. Unless is it? I hope it ain't the same one. I don't want to start over. I hope it's not. All the 80s electronics and games, right? Um, this book belongs to now. We ain't gonna do that one yet. Wait, why is it starting all over again? Let me see if I can find another one. Maybe life's books in another room. Probably. But see, that's the thing, like, it should... Latanya, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming through. See, this is... No, I don't want to start over. Okay, so circle takes me back to the books. Um, 
Let me see. That's to start over, which I don't want to do. Um. No, that just takes it right back. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how do you go to like the next room or how do you how do you start? Maybe use all the stickers. You know what? Let's let's see. Maybe that's what we got to do. I already got a, a book for myself. Sandy, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming through. I don't know. I mean, I guess. Yeah, see, every time I do that, though, when I, when I throw the stickers in there, Appreciate it, appreciate it. Much respect. Yeah, it's like... Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out... Oh, that zoomed all the way out. Yeah, see, now, like... I'm trying to get the photo, but yeah, it's not letting me. That's what I'm guessing. Like, I guess once this, when that star is in the corner, then it's complete. That's my only issue with these type of games when they don't really explain enough. All right. Uh. I wonder if I, uh, I think there's a button in the corner to turn the page. A button to turn the page? Because see, down there in the uh, bottom left corner, that's the, um, that's the camcorder to do the playback. That's to start over that, uh, with those two arrows. Triangle just brings me right back to the same one. And, um, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Yeah, it's just. I wonder, does it have to look exactly like this? That's what I'm wondering. But see, then again, though, it. Hmm. See, now this is where the puzzle part kind of comes into play. Uh. Okay, so. All right. Well, this stuff was already out. So I guess we just gotta. Just do some more unpacking again. All right, let's. Uh, let's, let's try this and see what happens. All right, so yeah, y'all, y'all just let me know where I should just start placing this stuff. I'm gonna just start sitting everything on the floor. So you don't know. <laughs> yeah, where should I put that soccer trophy? He got the trophy for finishing last place. <laughs> Probably. I mean, it don't really say uh, what place it is. Pull the Ricky Bobby. If you ain't first, you're last. They give trophies for everyone most of the time now. Yeah, right. Kind of like um, what's it called? Uh, what's that movie? Um, Meet the Parents, or oh, no, Meet the Foggers. Remember when uh, <laughs> Ben Stiller, his parents had that whole entire uh, shrine with all the trophies, <laughs> and then Robert De Niro was like, "I didn't know they gave out ninth place ribbons." <laughs> Second is first loser. All right. All right. Uh. So I guess we can redecorate again. All right, so what do you think? Maybe let's put all the stuffed animals all in one one bed, all the big ones. Maybe do something like that. Yeah, you never see that movie? It was um, they had a, a shrine and they called it the uh, the Wall of Gaylord because that was his name in the movie Gaylord Fokker. So. <laughs> Uh, um, actually, let me turn these around. You know, have it, have it actually uh, facing the kid. But yeah, they had like you gotta watch it. They had like ninth place ribbons. It was it was crazy as hell. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch that movie. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think where everything should go now. I'm trying to kind of change it up a bit. I saw the one where he was the model. Oh, that was Zoolander. Yeah, that movie was hysterical. That and um Oh, Tropic Thunder. Oh my god, Tropic Thunder was classic. I'm surprised Robert Downey Jr. didn't get an award for that. Or I think he got nominated, but he should have won. Oh my god. He had me cracking up playing that uh that character. Johnny, Johnny, did you clean your room? <laughs> right. You know, maybe I'll uh hmm. I'll put this right here. All 
All of my teams got a trophy for finishing last place in a slow pitch softball league when I was 11. Yeah, I, I know they do that sometimes, you know, to make the kids feel good about themselves. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Crappy trophy, too. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you clean your room? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one thing about me. I always kept a clean room. All right, maybe the ruler on the desk. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Maybe slide it right. Maybe put it right there. Um. Hey, the scissors there. Eraser maybe there. I have a wood checkerboard similar to that one. Yeah, I used to love these right here. These were the best. All right, so where should I start putting some of this other stuff at? The books, I'm guessing, can kind of maybe, maybe we'll put them up here on the top shelf. I like this music. Oh my God, this music is like hella chill right now. Actually, yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, throw all the books here. Maybe one, one shelf for all the books. And then, um, do something like that. Me, Gene, what's good, my guy? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome in. Appreciate you coming through. Hey, that should go there. Piggy bank on the set of drawers. On the set. So, oh, uh, are you talking about up here? Awesome, just finished DD2 and getting crazy. That's what's up. Yeah, I was, I went back and watched some of the, um, the old videos that you did of those. That game is crazy. Even when I was playing the first one, uh, Dark Horizon. Yeah, that, I didn't realize Dark Horizon was like a, um, it's like an extended version of the first one. But um, yeah, at, at, uh, Dragon's Dogma is dope. And what's called was dope too, uh, the, when I was playing the other night, um, the Castle Crashers. I'm just pissed though because the damn music on that game, it caused the video to get demonetized. I'm mad as hell about that. I was like, oh, come on. But that game is amazing though. All right, um, I'm not sure where the jump rope should go. Maybe we put the trash can over here. But that ain't really, I don't know if that's a good spot for the trash can, though. We got the little Game Boy thing. I'm guessing that could go there. Legend is a great game, but all the hard rock and heavy metal would get a video or stream taken down. I don't think it would get taken down, but it would definitely probably like get demonetized. Um, because there's this other game I played. It's called a uh, it's called a VC Invector. That game is dope. It's one of those ones where you gotta like. Uh, do the commands along with the beat and follow along and it um that one I, I think it got demonetized but it's all good though because that game was fire um I'm trying to think where should I put these yeah I'll put those right there Game has great voice acting from Jack Black. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never, uh, I never heard of that. They put the jump rope there, maybe.
I guess the flashlight can go in here. Okay. Trash by the door. Yeah, it can't go there. You see it's highlighting? I gotta put it somewhere where it's uh like this this is a this is a nice little setup Jack won an award for his voice acting in the game oh you did oh that's what's up click the star all right all right so My only other guess is, unless I got to do each book, maybe that's what I have to do. I think I do each book and then it um it goes to the next area. That's what I'm thinking. That's the only thing I can think of. Because other than that, I don't know. All right. Wait a minute. Let me... Yeah, I know. It's uh, it, it kind of sucks. Okay, so wait a minute. Hold on. You know what? I think I do have to do each book. I think I'll do each one. All right, so. All right, let's uh, let's just change some things around. Let's let's put that there. Let's maybe put that right there. Ruler there. Maybe, maybe put the crowns there. Oh, I could put a. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. I ain't not gonna put that there. All right. And we'll put this there. Piggy bank here. Put the book there. The Simon game could probably let me go there. I don't know where that dreidel one go. That thing. Go there. <laughs> I can't get over that procedure. Oh my god. <laughs> That's too damn funny. Mm, mm, mm. That music is fly. It kind of sounds like something I would hear on like Zelda. Or like, what's that other game that, uh, Fantasy Star? I don't know if y'all remember that game or not. Old school retro classic right there. Uh, let's, let's, put, the, let's put the game right there. All right, actually, let's have the uh, stuffed animals facing that way. Oh, we can put them right there. Okay, I didn't know that. Put them in like a certain little order there. I don't know where the flashlight should go. I'll just slap that there. My little pony, my little pony. Oh, God. I want to watch that movie now. <laughs> I really just want to see that one part. I got to remember what dude's name was. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy if I don't remember his name. 
actually, uh, let's, let's put that in there. So can we put the eraser in there? Oh yeah, we can. All right, yeah, let's fill that up. Or you know what? Hold up. Can the game go in there? No, it's too big. Put the eraser in there. There we go. What? What the stuffy was near the pillow? Remember Fraggle Rock? Oh, you know I remember Fraggle Rock. That was classic right there. Down to Fraggle Rock. Mm 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 mm. Oh, the stuffed animals, I just kind of just threw those there. I don't know what this is, but I guess, I don't know. Maybe we'll just sit that there. Yes, it was. Fraggle Rock was that ish. Actually, let's put the, let's put the duck up here. We'll put the no, we'll put the cat here so you can more so see it, and then put Charizard right over there. All right. Damn, I forgot about the pig. Raquel, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. Trying to get these organized, trying to, from tallest to shortest. All right, um, is that supposed to be like Pepper Pig? <laughs> kind of looks like it. DB3, what's good, my guy? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. Hey man, where the hell you been at? I feel like we only see you like uh once in a once every uh eclipse. <laughs> Kids next door. Yeah, I remember that. I never really watched that show like that, but it was it was still uh it was still solid though. Oh you know what? Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna put all the uh Hold on a second. Put all the big books down there. All right. Kids next door was the show to encourage you. Cow yeah, courage was good. I like courage, Cowley dog. All right. Um. So maybe we'll put that there. Been lurking like crazy. I feel you. Actually, no, I'm gonna no, put the jump rope here. Oh, I can't even put it there. Wow. Hold on. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna. Uh, let's. Let's put that down here. Let's put all the action figures up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's looking nice. Put the video game there. Close that. Put that. Put that there. All right. Let's uh. Can't tell me I ain't got home uh, interior decorating skills. Oh, I see this thing glowing, so maybe I gotta do a playback. Alright. Let's get our X-Men on. This is how Professor X be uh when he got the cerebo on. Just be moving his hand. <laughs> I seen that this game wasn't moving you to the near to the next level. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get to the next area. 
<laughs> trying to, I'm just doing a playback right now. Get my X Men on, and move, moving the objects and stuff. You know, just doing, doing, doing one of these. <laughs> It's kind of forming a beat, ain't it? Like, oh damn, that's it. Okay. All right. So, hey. Like it's making a beat like an instrumental. Regret, regret what? <laughs> oh yeah, so for everybody coming in, click that link that I just dropped there. That's my next Battle of the Beach tag team tournament. Uh, this Sunday coming up, you guys want to check that out. I looked up something that said, go to settings and choose accessibility and then choose allow items anywhere. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Q, what's going on? How you feeling? How you living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. All right. Let's, let's do exactly that. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't I didn't peep that. Okay, so All right, so now that we did that, the question is, is how do we, oh, okay. Appreciate that DB3, there we go. So now we, all right, we, uh, all right. So now we, we in the, uh, I guess it's like the college dorm and stuff. I'm guessing you had to put the items exactly where the game wanted you to put them. I don't know. I kind of figured that too, but it's like, well, where though? All right, so we got this little tiny ass, uh, well-decorated prison cell. This is how uh, this is how all the cells look in gentrified prisons and uh, and jail and stuff. <laughs> all right, yeah. Let me know where we should start putting this stuff at, and I'll uh, I'll just start uh getting the decoration on with then TFT monitor yeah that should go I should probably go here what the hell is this oh, this must be like an art thing Actually, no, let's, let's put the books up at the top. But most of the time, usually it's like books are there. Oh, so we, we can. Oh, OK. So we can hit every room. So we got bedroom, kitchen and the bathroom. Oh, nice. Nice. Is this a book? Yes, yeah, a book. Gateway. Oh, gateway monitor. Hell no. Oh, 
We don't talk about Gateway. That disastrous uh, computer brand? Oh, God. Gateway was the equivalent to COVID. I was sitting back enjoying this therapeutic game. Honestly, this feels like a hidden gem. Right, DB3. I'll be, that's what I be trying to tell people. I'm like, man, you got to play, you got to have these hidden gems, especially the indie titles. And everybody's like kind of stuck on just playing, you know, all the the highly anticipated stuff, the stuff that's, you know, that's out right now. And it's nothing wrong with that, but it's like, you know, sometimes this is where it's at. Let's get that box up out of here. Wait, what's this? Sony computer. So now, see, now you're talking. Now, bio, yeah. But gateway, oh, hell no. God, gateway and Dell. Hell no. You know what's funny? I work for this company part time called uh, Action Link. And they do all different types of um, vendor work. I'm a third party vendor. So I'll go to like different stores and do like audits and um, product demonstration and set up displays. So sometimes like I may have to talk about computers too, depending on what it is. So I remember I was a vendor for this company. You guys know Lenovo. They were formerly known as IBM. So I had to do vendor work for them one time. And I remember, uh, talking to customers because they were asking me for different um recommendations of stuff and they're like what uh which would you recommend i was like whatever you do don't choose dell because dell will give you hell and they're like really i said really i'm like i wouldn't exaggerate like we don't we don't we don't do dell <laughs> so i said your, your top bets are either asus lenovo or um hp Dell makes Alienware gaming PCs and laptops. I'll give them that, but that's it. I don't give them nothing else. All right, you out of here, Sandy? All right, appreciate you coming through. Feel free to drop in anytime. Hey, these. That's dope. You can hang the shirts up, too. This is kind of fly. Now, this person, no better having toys here. with the damn soccer ball wait i'm pretty sure this is a grown-ass kid i mean a grown person why they got the soccer ball msi makes good desktops and laptops uh yeah i guess welcome back welcome back yeah so we finally figured out uh what we got to do all right maybe i'll put that there actually you know what no i'm gonna sit this down here Cause I'm, I'm almost willing to bet it's probably like sneakers or something. What was that? Oh, alarm clock. Uh, yeah, sit that there. Why the hell are they only give us four hangers? <laughs> it's like all these shirts. Where am I supposed to put this stuff at? That's kind of dope how they automatically fold up as soon as you take them out. That's dope. Right, here they go with the toys again. Oh, I got the, uh, the Eiffel Tower there. All right, it's nice. Game made me want to organize my room a little. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. I'm about to do the same thing. Well, I mean, ain't, ain't really much in my room to even organize, really. So. But yeah, this, this is this is fun. And again, therapeutic. Wait, hold on. Is, is that a is that a book? Oh, no, I can't tell if that's a book or not. Let me see. Let me take that now. Yeah, that's a book. Is it? Am I tripping? I don't know. Let's hang the lumberjack shirt back up. What is this? Are those socks? I guess so. Either socks or underwear. I don't, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Somebody has scuffed the floor. 
Oh, I'm telling the landlord. You know what this game also reminds me of? Have any of y'all ever played Life is Strange? This kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Okay. Actually, no, let's put this, uh, let's hang this here. Oh, you never played that? You gotta play that game. That game is amazing. Classic. And look, they scuffed the wall, too. I'm telling. I want my money back. Oh, my God. I've seen people streaming. Yeah, that game is dope. Alright, so. Let's take this over here. Don't it? Don't it kind of got that Life is Strange type of vibe? Alright, here, here we go. Got a full thing of toilet paper. Sit that there. Is this open? Nope. Alright, All right, so this person is definitely an artist. Actually, let me sit this stuff down here first. Let's put the piggy bank over here. There we go. I don't know if that should go like closer to here or it should go to the edge actually no that's the mp3 so let's let's put that there another game i've seen people stream that's cool is, oh ghost of shima is flawless flawless i gotta i gotta play that ronin game next i just gotta I'm trying to budget right now with the money and stuff all right we'll just leave that book there Oh, we got the uh, the stereo. All right, hold on. Let's uh, no, let's, let's drop the piggy bank. Let's maybe put that. I don't know where to put the piggy bank now. Why does this give me like Toy Story vibes? Like, you remember uh, Toy Story three when Andy moved out? He got it. He, he ended up going to college. This is kind of feeling like that. This won't go there. No, I gotta gotta keep the alarm clock there. That's 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 only right. I'm trying to slide it up against the wall. I guess I can't. All right, you know what? Let's no. You go back there. You stay there. You come here. Actually, no. We're gonna put you right here. There we go. Yeah, I like it there. Um. Yeah, there we go. Alright, then... I'm just trying to, like... Try to vision when I was back in college where I put everything at. Um... Yeah, we can put that there. All right. Um, are you gonna go to college? I did for three and a half years. And now because of it, I'm in major debt. But it is what it is. Wait, where the other shoe at? Wow, I only got one shoe? <laughs> what doesn't count? I've been in a college football game now. Oh, I was, like <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell happened to the other shoe?
I was like, like, who packs only one shoe? Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Put those, put those down here. There we go. Yeah, I like those right there. Eiffel Tower, we will put you there. Uh, and we bring it, bring the boots out. He must be handicapped. Nah, I don't think he is. I found the other shoes though. One leg. Nah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a female. Uh, uh, let's see, they've got the bras. Where is all this stuff supposed to go in this little tiny ass apartment? I got a Game Boy. Oh my god, she really. So, this is a, this is a female. She really done brought the stuffed animals. Like, are you serious? Mad books, my guy. Um, Yukon one. Yeah, I saw that. All right. Um, hmm. Hold on. She unpacked the whole universe in that room. <laughs> right. I don't know if these are socks or underwear. I can't tell. Two Pete. The toaster. Oh wait, okay, so this is this is going there. Yeah, where I'm like, where's the other boot at? Oh my gosh. That's she, so she really packed the uh what's it called? The the damn thing. She pack all these stuffed animals and the Rubik's Cube. And what the hell is that? Who the hell is that? I don't even know where, where this is going to go. Oh my gosh, there's too much stuff now. Uh, yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. They, they were like, what are they, 38 and 0? And won the title? That's crazy. All right, this can go, I guess. We'll just put that there. I was going to say, yeah. I'm like, how are you going to give us a computer? And no, uh, no, what's it called? You said that Curious George? I don't know who it is. <laughs> All right, uh, Rubik's Cube can go there. Actually, nah. I ain't gonna put it in front of the piggy bank. Um, no, I guess that, that can go. No, that's I that gotta stay there. The unfolded undies. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. All right, um, I'm mad she brought the toys though. I, I ain't even concerned about everything else. The toys is really what's getting me. Like, how old are we? <laughs> he said Curious George though. <laughs> That's hysterical. It look, that do look like a, uh, like a monkey though. That's the funny part though, DB. That do look like it would be a monkey. All right, what y'all think? Looking good so far? I, I really don't know where else to put this stuff. She doesn't want them wrinkled when the man see them. Ah, right. Ugh. All right, she so gonna get too much of a relationship. She up here still playing with toys and stuff. I don't know where this is gonna go, cause all right, you know I'm gonna have to I'll put this stuff. I guess these can go up here.
these are the handsome brothers that play with toys. I have no idea. Oh wait, hold on now. Here's my question. Where is the other boot at? They gave us both the uh, pairs of the sneakers. Where is the other boot? Hey, you know what that remind me of? You ever see uh, the first scary movie? Remember when uh, the girl was like, oh my God, you guys, we hit a boot. Where's the fight? <laughs> <laughs> This idiot gonna say, where's the foot? <laughs> oh, I was like, yo, he's a damn fool for that. She packed a special pool. <laughs> Jay Will, what's good, my guy? You feeling how you're living? Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming through. <laughs> oh, snap. That's too funny. The special boot. <laughs> Uh, she gonna use this boot to uh, beat off anybody that tries to like come in the room and uh, attack her, or like, anybody try to break in. Well, uh, put on your ish kickers and kick the ish out of the house of pain, <laughs> right? Hey, you know what'd be funny if the uh, if the other boot is in one of the boxes in the other room? That'd be hysterical. Oh my god. All right. We even put nothing in here. Actually, you know what? Let's put the uh, let's put this stuff in here. Yeah. It's, uh, there we go. Yeah, it look, looks looks more decorative. Hey, we gonna put these toys down here. I'm like, uh, -uh I'm not got time for that. Hey, too old to be playing with toys. All right. You know what? Let's. Let's take all these like these bigger books. And actually, no. Let's keep the bigger books up here, and we're gonna put the uh, we'll put the what's it called down here, like all the smaller books. There, the cable guy says, "Where you get the snow cones at?" <laughs> There we go. A little bit nicer. A little bit nicer. Uh, Rubik's Cube. I can put that down there, too. <laughs> yeah, I can't get over this. I can't get over this boot. Where's the other damn boot at? I need answers. Where's the other goddamn boot? That's too funny. She ain't forget to pack the toys and the soccer ball and the stuffed animals, but only has one boot. Why? I seriously need answers. <laughs> and Boo's nowhere living his best life. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> in the bathroom, right? Like Pop said on Friday. Craig, where you at? In the bathroom. <laughs> hey, if the, I swear, if that boot is in one of these other boxes, I'm going to crack the hell up. All right, so let's see. We got cups. <laughs> oh, that's too damn funny. All right, I don't know where that's going to go yet, so what the hell is this? Is that an urn? Did somebody pass away? Actually, uh, wait, let's, let's put the bowls up here. Uh, later, the cable guy was a helped inspector. this oh that's probably the thing to, uh, to clean the dishes all 
Oh man, this is reminding me when I first moved into my condo. All right, so that that's the what's the cause? So that goes in here. What is this? Is that like dishwasher? I guess so. Oh, she got, oh, she got roaches. Oh no. Oh, you trifling. You got roaches. What the hell is this? Is this a foreman group? I don't know what that is. I can't even, I can't tell. <laughs> trifling they didn't move her into a unit with roaches I get it now the roaches took the moon <laughs> hey, hey DB they said you don't need this <laughs> make do with just one Dang. so the roaches went off with her boo that's foul <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it that's funny as hell oh my god all right so we got oil all right <laughs> all right so we can put that there put that there are those scrub brushes? Yeah, those are. Why did all the stuff like she got it from like the dollar store? This is definitely dollar store stuff. Who stepped in the dog food? <laughs> I mean do that. Oh, M4, you still here? Oh, so um check it out, right? Um, next Tuesday, the 16th, I have, um, Diamond and, um, Poppy, they're gonna face off in Family Feud around, like, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, so if you wanna, uh, come through and check it out, you can do so. Oh, damn, that's, that's the, uh, we got the serial killer knife. Hold on. Yeah, gotta figure out where we're gonna, where we're gonna put that at. Hold on. Yeah, like where? They, all right, this is a tiny ass kitchen. Like, where am I supposed to put all this stuff at? Oh my God! Here go the other boot. Why the? <laughs> Why the hell they packed the boot in the, with the kitchen supplies? <laughs> that boot said, guess who's back? <laughs> said, you didn't know? You thought I was gone? <laughs> Is that a head kill knife? I have no idea. I man, damn the knife. I'm mad the boot wasn't with the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's funny as hell. Them boots had a divorce. <laughs> they said, I hate you. I hate you too. I think we should go our separate ways. You mean separate boxes? Oh my God, that is funny as hell. They found it while packing the kitchen. Oh, that's where he went, the wild New Year's party. <laughs> nice for a slasher movie. I know, right? With the, uh, with the what's it called? Oh my God, 
That is funny as hell. We found the other boot. Oh man, I don't know where this stuff is going to go. This is... This is a little ass kitchen. Like, where is... <laughs> Oh my god, I, I needed that. That was funny. <laughs> damn, that is that's just too damn funny. Like, who puts uh who puts a boot? In a whole, in a completely different box away from the original. Where they do that at? Oh man! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I can put more. Oh, I didn't even realize I had that much space. Hold up. So I can put more stuff in there. All right, hold on. Oh, oh, that's probably why I was in it because the boot had roaches in it. Oh, hell no. That was nasty as hell. Had the boot chilling with the forks. <laughs> oh, my God. That's too damn funny. That's <laughs> a college door, but even still, though, like, really, though, she must have been in a rush. I don't even know where else to, uh, all right. Okay. You know, let's put this stuff here. Let's, let's get it more well organized. Let me go put the cups here. I like that they put this on here, even though it kind of feels more like a PC game. Like with all the, like, with the whole clicking and everything. Alright, there we go. <laughs> hey, we should, uh, we should just leave one, one boot in here. <laughs> just, just leave a random, one boot, random boot inside the kitchen. <laughs> Just keep it moving. <laughs> oh no, we gonna we gonna put it back. Oh my god, I that is too damn funny. Actually, no. Do I have enough space to put both here? I think I do. Oh no, I don't. Oh, all right. Well, let's put you back up here. Alright. Looks nice, looks nice. Not bad, not bad so far. Actually, let's... Yeah, I kind of like that better. Actually, you know what? Uh, wait, let's hold on. Let's move this here. Set the time on the alarm. I don't think I can. 
Yeah, you can't set the time. I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna just. All right, yeah, that's that's better. Put all the art supplies together. Hey, okay, put the ruler. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the ruler there. All right, yeah, I kind of actually, no, 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 let's. I like this right here. The ruler. I guess we'll just sit it there. Unless, hold on. Oh, I can't put it there. Actually, no, nah, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll leave it right there. That's a, it's a decent spot. All right. Looks good, looks good. Let's clear this bathroom out. What we got? Oh, wait, no, it's a wash wall. What was that? Soap. The hell? Why we got a mug? Okay. They got they like a Resident Evil uh, health kit. Really? Why? Why would they pack one of the bras in here? Oh my god! This game. This girl not a pack. What are those? Are those uh, tampons? Yep. All right. I guess I'll put that down there. And some more toilet paper there. All right. Right, a, a box in the bathroom. Like, who does that? Per plus. Ah, uh, I don't know where this is going to go. Hold on. And then they, they, hold on, why would they put the mug? What type of packing is this? She packed like she was getting kicked out, right? It like, got stuff just random. Got the pan and the... Frying pan and a damn thing, like really. I don't even know where this is gonna go. Oh, I want to put it next to the roaches. I mean the road spray. <laughs> uh. Alright, well I ain't got much of a choice. Oh, hold up. I really had a second drawer there. Alright, let's put our serial killer knife right there. Let's put that there. Yeah, yeah, that's the the grill. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out where it should go though. That's for the dishes. That's the cutting board. Let's 
take that out. Yeah, I, I got my foreman grill too. My mom was trying to get me to get rid of it. I'm like, oh hell no. Get rid of my foreman grill. That thing has been saving my life. Working miracles. And not on 34th Street either. Get rid of my grill. Oh. There it is. Actually, let's move it. Let's put the trash can right here. Exactly. Fast way to grill. I like it. Oh, I got a sticker. Nice. Oh, you got an air fryer? Yeah, I don't have one of those. Oh, you cook your meat in the air fryer? Yeah, I cook all mines on the uh, grill. Or like the skillets and stuff that I got, depending on what it is. can't get over the uh i can't get over this <laughs> just random stuff like look like the paper towel is in the box with all the other stuff not a paper towel it's all the toilet paper like everything is just all discombobulated you got one toilet paper roll in boxes with the stuff that's supposed to be belong in the bedroom you got one of your boots in the boxes with the kitchen where it should be here. It's just like, <laughs> like how backwards is that? Oh my god. That's too funny. The fact that it copies all the movements in this playback, that's kind of dope. <laughs> Hurry up for mama, get back tight packing. <laughs> right, right. Somebody gotta teach her. So I show her the ropes, cause clearly she don't know what she doing. That's a damn shame that <laughs> got roach spray. You just moved in. She didn't pack makeup. Yeah, yeah, she actually did. <clears throat> Why is it like everything is just kind of like dancing? Like it's just kind of like making its own music. Let's give me like hopscotch vibes. <laughs> <laughs> they go to, they go to boot. <laughs> they go to boot. Maybe she's a tomboy. Probably. She got dirt on. Right, right. Right. What's that? What's that country song? I always forget the name of the guy that sings it. A little dirt on my boots. Right, like puts the puts a dirty boot in with the kitchen stuff. Like how unsanitary are you? <laughs> oh my god. 
No way, hold on. Okay, so yeah. I get it now. So once you once you've done every book, then it moves to the next one. Okay. I get it now. That that uh that makes sense. So you have to you have to literally decorate, do different stylizations, and then it uh it allows you to go to the next one. Okay. Got it now. Yeah, thank you for that, DB, because I wouldn't have known what the hell I was doing. I would have been super stuck. Like, what? Yeah, games like these, I love them, but they got to do a better job of explaining stuff because that, that don't make no sense. It's like, how are you supposed to even know? You know? So... Yes, yeah, this, is, this is fun. I like this. So, yeah, I definitely recommend y'all getting this game, trying it out. Um, it, it's fun. It's fun. Nice little... Uh, Nice little vibe, you know. It's got, you know, the puzzles in there, but at the same time, you can also kind of, you know, get your decorating on and stuff like that. Therapeutic music. No problem, man. They did. Yeah, they should have definitely explained that. Or, like, because I'm thinking all I got to do is, like, I think you got to just, I think every book was different. Like, okay, you go through one book, it's got different levels, and then the next book, I didn't know you had to do the same thing in each book. But now, I, it kind of makes sense a little bit like it gives you opportunities to change it around and do different adjustments and stuff and then it goes on to the next one so that's actually kind of that's dope but yeah they they still need to explain that a little bit better though but it is what it is but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because it's getting late i gotta work both jobs tomorrow so i'm gonna try to knock some streams out in between then but again the link that i just dropped that's pinned at the top of the chat that's for my next uh, Battle of the Beats tag team tournament, if you guys want to check that out. It's going to be the third battle of the preliminary rounds. That's Sunday, April 14th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So set your notifications, share it out. Spread the word, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. It's going down. And again, uh, I have another Family Feud interactive episode coming up. It's going to be a... Um, one-on-one -on -one couples battle this time around we got two dope gamers for those that know diamond surge and um poppy chulo they're gonna face off that's gonna be tuesday april 16th at 8 30 p.m eastern standard time so if you guys want to come in and cheer them on join in with the interaction you can do so watch them uh, face off it's actually the first episode where we're actually going to have uh, a couple that are both YouTube gamers facing off against each other because everyone else they um they they they're on and off of YouTube but you know they um I never had like a gaming couple actually face off this time around so this is going to be like really interesting to see them uh face off because they're both very talented both very smart um so I, I can't wait it's it, that's going to be an epic one right there so yeah tune in for that that's Sun that's Tuesday. April 16th, 8.30, 8 p.m. 8.30, oh my God, I said 8.30, 8 p.m. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, that man, that's gonna be a good one. Cause um, I had did one recently, I did a 2v2 with this group that I know called um, The Nine. So shout out to them. Uh, I had the guys and the girls from that group face off against each other. Um, so that was really fun. Cause everybody's been telling me they want me to bring back the family feud setup so i was like all right i got y'all so now i'm just trying to find more people that would want to be a part of it so i was talking to diamond in one of her streams um because she actually watched the uh the previous one she's like i love family feud she's like one of my favorite games i was like oh word so 
Um, and then, you know, Poppy Chulo, he plays a lot of... Uh, anytime I do these interactive streams with the puzzles and all that, he always joins in, like the word games and stuff like that, because he's like a big fan of those. So I was like, oh, you know what? Like, would y'all want to do Family Feud? And they were both like, hell yeah. So I just got everything set up. I already created their character avatars. It looks just like them, too. They saw them. They were like, oh, my God, that is like spot on. So, yes, yeah, that's going to be dope. I can't wait for that. D9 should enter one of your Battle of the Beats comps. You know what's crazy, Brett? He actually was a part of the Battle of the Beats series. And uh, it's funny that you said that because that link that I just dropped this Sunday, him and his partner are actually, uh, they're going to be doing the tag team. So his, his battle is coming up this Sunday. So click that link and set your notifications so you can tune in for that one. Yeah, uh, it's, it's him and his partner. His name is Trill Virtual Boy. Shout out to him, too. So, yeah, they're, they're teaming up, and they're going to be battling against um, two other veterans on the um, from the series and the trilogy. Well, actually, no. Uh, one of them's from the trilogy and the series. That's my cousin, Phantom. His partner is a newcomer by the name of El High. He's all the way from France. So that's this Sunday they're going to face off. But, yeah, yeah, D9, he, he was a part of the series. He had a battle. Um, but he's been so busy, but he only got one opportunity to do it. So I was able to talk to him and he uh, he made the uh, decision to come back for the tournament and stuff. But yeah, um, you can watch his battle. I think it was, I'm trying to remember what episode it was. It was like early in the series. I think it might have been episode six or seven. He went up against um, my boy from Pakistan, Doomsday. So yeah, that, that was that was a good, it was a solid battle. He didn't win though, but um, yeah, they, it was a nice little face off. But yeah, yeah, D9's back. So he'll be facing off um, this Sunday. So yeah, definitely check that out. I'll drop that link one more time. But yeah, those are both the events coming up for next week. So again, set your notifications. I don't have the um, the live stream set up for Family Feud because I'm actually going to um, do it straight from the console. Like I wasn't able to set it up like how I do with my uh, podcast episodes. So just remember to save the uh, date and the time for that. 8 30 is when i'll be going live so everybody come through you know for all the guys you know repping um hold it down for poppy chulo all the ladies can hold it down for diamond surge help them out and yeah we're gonna have some fun with that one but again appreciate all the continuous love and support big shout out to each and every one of y'all make sure you guys like comment subscribe most importantly hit that notification bell anytime i go live come through kick your feet up relax my home is your home you already know what it is and remember the four beautiful things that make this world go around Peace, love, positivity, and prosperity always. So till next time, it's your boy signing off. Much love, peace, and I'm gone.